and we are playing Nintendo 64. And we're playing Blast. Those are for Nintendo 64. Let's see, Blast. Those are for Nintendo 64. It's, it came out in '97, I guess, and it was made by a Rare. Uh, this game definitely went by a different name over in uh, North America. This is the Japanese version. How do you like that awesome high fidelity gameplay and music? And you got the little demonstration of how to play the game and all this stuff right here. So uh, over in North America it was known as Blast Corpse. We're gonna push start, we're gonna try the game out right here. So over in Japan it was known as Blast Dozer. Looks like we have uh, various different places we can play. I'm not sure if these are saved files or not, but we'll, uh, we'll check one place out here. Try this for size. Time to get moving. So it was like we got a uh, what, what appears to be a robot. destroying all kinds of stuff. I love games where you can destroy stuff. Now, one of my favorite games on the uh, Dreamcast is Bomber Hahi. You can definitely destroy buildings. So that's what your job is in that game. Let's see what we do here. We have a truck. We have a jetpack. See, I, I've never actually played this game before. I just recently bought a copy of it from a store over in Japan. And this is actually the first time I've ever seen this game. Actually, I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna lie, I've actually seen screenshots, I've seen videos of it. Let's see what happens here, we have the time limit running out. And uh, that's some sort of red Japanese text that went up on the screen right there. Try this for size. Good luck. I would probably watch a video on this before playing it so I can have an idea of what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Well, it looks like I'm destroying all kinds of buildings here. This is quite awesome. Yeah, destroyed buildings. Let me check this out. Especially a building <laughs> demolition simulator right here. Or everything. Look at this, I'm blowing everything up. It's ridiculous. We got train tracks right here. What do we got here? Got a tub. Let's see, is there like a map you can look at? Run faster! We got another tub of whatever that is right there. These containers you have to destroy, I guess. We got 17 seconds left on the clock. We better destroy everything that we can before we get in trouble. Is there another one? What the hell? Oh, there is. There's one right here. Oh, I almost got the last one. Try this for size. We'll get that try again. So you have to walk a guy over here. Looks like there's an arrow point over here. There's a container right here. And there's a container right here. 
I wonder what's inside those containers. There's definitely six containers, as you can see on the top of the screen. So we got two out of six. No, that's definitely the edge of the, uh, the actual map itself. Heading in, definitely in the wrong direction. Let's see if we can get our guy down this way. He almost looks like, like a transformer type, thing, type of uh, character. He's blowing everything up. We got a few more to go. We got one right here. I think we got it this time. Come on, land it. There's another one somewhere around here. Let's see if we can fly all the way down here somewhere. It's gotta be down here. Where the hell is it? There it is. Yeah. I guess if you, you're flying up in the air and you push uh, B, you can actually do some sort of kick. Show us what you've got. You can so do you see right here, we're, we're replaying the same exact level again. Let's see if we can choose a different level. Let's look at the uh, awesome Nintendo 64 textures on this uh, globe. It's like a little model of the, uh, the actual world itself. Not sure where we are here. It looks like we might be in uh, Europe. It's like South America. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this might be like different maps that, that they, they actually made up themselves. Let's choose a random place right here. Looks like we have a vehicle. I like the uh, physics in this game, it's actually pretty cool. And like a little construction looking vehicle that has turbo built into it. I wonder if it overheats like a sight bike. Oh, so you can actually get out of your vehicle, how about that? That's Pretty cool. It's almost like a Grand Theft Auto type of thing going on here. Can you imagine if they made Grand Theft Auto 2 or even Grand Theft Auto 1 for, Nint for Nintendo 64? That would have been pretty damn cool. I have no idea where the hell I'm going, but I'm driving around. Oh, got a truck right here. I wonder if I can get out and drive the truck. How about that? You can drive a truck. I have no idea if I did the right thing or not, but that was actually pretty cool. Let's check out some another uh, random level over here. Looks like we got a nice looking uh, pixelated sports car and you know with the uh, 64 the pixelation actually gets smoothed out. Got a nice little smooth looking texture Try filter. Time to get moving. Driving. Sports car right here. Look at that. I feel like I'm playing one of those old NES games, the RC game. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. I'm actually digging it so far. And I never played Blast Corps before. I know that was uh, one of the earlier re releases on the uh, Nintendo 64. This is one of those games I actually never got a chance to play. Oh, you better go faster, what the hell? I recently built up my 64 collection again, and uh, I just had a chance to come across this game and you know, say, hey, what the hell? Might as well buy it and check it out, and so far it's actually pretty cool. The levels are quite random, and I, I kind of like that. I don't want to play the same stuff over and over again on each level. So this is a quite interesting level over here. It's like a bit of a throwback. And uh, from a distance, that, that vehicle model actually looks pretty good. I mean, up close it looks like crap. But, you know, the top-down view, as you can see right here, actually looks pretty good. It's not bad. You got the muddy ground that the uh, the vehicles. It's definitely not an off-road vehicle, so I'm not sure how this vehicle is handling so well on this dirty, muddy trail that we're driving on. It's like a dirt road. It's 
got some really good off-road tires on this sports vehicle. It has a very, very long hood on it, almost like a Mercedes, like an old Mercedes Benz or something. You drive, drive faster. Let's go. So, uh, have you guys ever played this game before? Just let me know down below what you think about this game. I mean, it was a quite the interesting game so far. I mean, I never actually played it, but... There's some high fidelity gameplay right here. It looks like we... Finish the uh, race right there. So you may be wondering, am I enjoying this game? Like, I'm actually recording it, and uh, you know, just for the sake of having some footage of the game, but am I actually enjoying it? Try this. Uh, to a certain extent, I am. I think it's actually pretty cool. Once again, we have a really random level right here. Looks like we have TNT blowing up all these random buildings right here. Let me check this out. And it looks like we have to blow up um, four, or actually 17 of various different buildings. And uh, let's see, we six right there and you get the TNT is actually assisting us it's actually helping us out so we blew up eight buildings so far this big huge truck I don't think this truck needs TNT I mean it's big enough to actually cause enough damage to uh, you know do its own thing the uh, controls are a little rough at sometimes it's not it's not too bad and so you can drift right there going to reverse and it looks like we have to pull up another building we'll see if we can find something else shave up this road right here definitely can't go that way there's there's a few more buildings over here somewhere at least five more buildings we have to locate where those are Found some trees. I don't think that's gonna help out too much. Oh, there's a there's a house right here. What the hell? Yeah, blow the house up. I love the drifting. The drifting's actually pretty cool. Try this. All right, let's uh, give it a try one more time. So we blew that building up. That's the first building right there. And blew that building up. That was pretty easy. And we got another building over here. Let's see if we, can... we got that one, and we got this one right here. So so far we blew five buildings up. A very destructive uh, piece of equipment that I have here. Push these TNT boxes. Let's see if we can get over here. Oh man! Oh, pretty sure there's another building or something over here. Maybe I'm wrong. What's over here? All right, I blew that building up. That was number six right there. That was the one I missed, I believe. So we, that's eight buildings right there. I don't think there's anything else that we see. I think it's going for a drive all the way to who knows where. I'm calling it a tank because it's so destructive. But it's actually a, a dump truck. So we drive down here. Found a few more buildings. I'm gonna try to pull these buildings up. Eleven buildings here. Thirteen. So there's there's gotta be something else around here. Let's take a look real quick. No, no, we're running out of time. Oh, there's a building right here. How the hell did I miss that? Well, that was actually a pretty cool level right there. Let's check out another level. 
uh, again, I think this cartridge has a built-in save. And all these levels are unlocked from whoever played it previously. And you can see all these little uh, vehicles you can choose on each level. Now that one looks like you have some sort of construction vehicle. Let's try that one out. So what the hell are we supposed to do in this level? Well, we have a TNT, so that's a good... Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> that blew up right away. So are we supposed to push, like, the train? See, is there like an explanation on what we're supposed to be doing here? Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know how that means, but... Maybe we're supposed to push this part of the train into that part of the train. Maybe not. Oh look, I can actually get out of the vehicle. I forgot, I forgot about that. I wonder if you can get inside the train. Or maybe you can walk over here. Let's try it out. I'm gonna run my ass all the way over here. I almost look like the uh, the little guy from uh, the Intelligent Cube from uh, the, the PlayStation. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I have no idea where I'm running, but I'm running. Check that out. I mean, running never looks so cool. It kind of kind of reminds me of something on the television or the Atari 2600. Like, uh, look at that. It looks like a pitfall. What's the guy's name? Pitfall Harry? I'm running. I'm going to be jumping over some pits in a second. Oh, I ran all the way over there for nothing. What the hell? All right, let's go all the way back here. Look at those awesome Nintendo 64 graphics, the uh, muddy looking textures, the, you got the train track right there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of it. I think it looks pretty cool. Got the uh, the water right there underneath the uh, bridge. Nice blue looking water. Looks much better than the, uh, the Hudson River that we have nearby. All right, so let's get back into our vehicle right here. supposed to do something? I, I, I would imagine we're supposed to do something. In. Let's see here. Come on! I'm kind of lost on this level. I would probably have to watch a video to actually see what the hell I'm doing. I, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with on that level. And there's a lot of different stages here. Various different vehicles and all kinds of stuff. Let's try one more. Look at this, you can choose like all, all kinds of stuff on this level. Look, you have the, like the A-Team van right there. That's crazy. Yeah, look at that. It looks like the A-Team van. You got Mr. T driving up. You got the police car. You got a cool looking... Uh, American flag sports vehicle with the uh, motor popping out of the hood right there. Yeah, construction vehicles. Almost looks like a row cage vehicle right there. Remember the game of row cage on PlayStation? You know damn well I'm gonna go drive the A Team van. For size. Time to get moving. Yeah, let's play. Let's go. Got stuff like a. An RC car racing game right here. It, looks like, it almost reminds me of the the old school racing games on the uh, NES. Look at that. It's quite awesome. Let's see what we're around the corner. This big ass van. Yeah, 
Mr. T behind the wheel. The Mohawk. Pity the fool. I guess in Mr. T's way, I'm just gonna run you over. Maybe we're gonna drive faster here. Do we have turbo? No, we don't have turbo. And the uh, the controls are not bad. There was actually a game on the uh, on the PlayStation called Daredevil Derby 3D. It was like one of the first PlayStation games that I've ever owned back when I was younger. And I, uh, it kind of looks similar to what you have here, except it was kind of more cartoonish. And it was an okay game. It wasn't the greatest, but I remember playing it quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, quite interesting. I'll say the controls actually handle better on this. It's actually pretty good. I mean, I, I'm not sure if this is two players or not. I would imagine that it probably is. I'll probably throw a few more people into this to this uh, portion of the game right here. I would hope so. I mean, I would imagine it. it's kind of boring racing by yourself. I mean, it's more of like a time trial attack. So you have to try to beat your time. Try to come into the fastest time right here. And again, look at the uh, nice, muddy-looking Nintendo 64 graphics. You get your stereotypical Nintendo 64 music. Quite obnoxious. Trying to impress me. And uh, that was uh, Blast Corpse on the uh, Nintendo 64. You know, uh, this is a copy that came from Japan, so in Japan it's known as Blast Dozer. And it was an okay game. Had fun playing it. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode of High Fidelity Gameplay, don't forget to comment down below and give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah we are now including commentary on high fidelity gameplay from now on so I hope you enjoyed this episode